Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tape or project every single time and give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today I'm very excited to check out the number two project in all of video games right now that is Above Snake's Western inspired survival base building game. Western inspired inspired survival base building game so i feel like immediately we're not using our marquee space well enough here if we're literally just copying pasting this to there i'm sure there's more information how many hours of gameplay is it online is it cooperative you know uh, just some more information i think could be conveyed here hello hello craft your world by placing isometric tiles i don't uh, so so I, I look at the beginning of the description, and the only thing I really know about this is it's a Native American-themed Western survival base building game. Which sounds cool, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying I think there could be more information that could be conveyed here. You know, just enticing me to click. And I don't know what that is yet. Uh, and explore, is, explore various binomes. Oh, so it's going to be different uh, locations. Cool. Alright, as always, when you go in the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. That's cool. I gotta say, I'm digging it so far. Nothing to really say about the first minute. It made, it made me want to play the game. You know, I get what I'm doing. I'm survival. I'm, I'm building on the land. I'm chopping down trees. I'm doing all this sort of survival sort of stuff. And as I explore, I get to choose what kind of area I'm exploring. And there's zombies. Okay. And a train. Apparently, there's, So, I, I'm digging this video so far. Two little things they they showed, not for me, but I'm sure for a certain like being able to paint your house and really decorate it that elaborately, I think that's a big needle mover for a lot of people. And having pets, same thing. Back now to get exclusive rewards and being among the first to play the Hi game. Hi Kickstarter, my name is Tobias Schnackenberg, and I'm the developer behind the survival-based builder Above Snakes. Inspired by the Wild West, Above Snakes is your opportunity to craft a fictional world around you by placing unique isometric tiles all while trying to brave the wilds and its secrets. As a kid, I was obsessed with creating my own worlds. My video game journey started in my teenage years, when I created mods, campaigns and custom maps using level editors of my favorite games, all of which I shared with my friends and family to play. It was later in life, four years ago, when I finally started developing small projects with the Unity game engine. I created games as evening and weekend. So this is what I always like to call the personal touch, and I think they're doing a fantastic job of not making this just about the game, but also making this about supporting, you know, kind of doing the Kickstarter thing of actually supporting dreams, making someone's dream come true. Because, you know, we get all these million-dollar projects where people launch with, like, a game and, like, four expansions, and we lose sight of that sometimes. But this is what Kickstarter is for. This is someone who's just, I love game design, and I want to bring this into reality. And, and so I like this so far. This is a really d well done video. ...and released them on itch.io for people to play for free. Over the years, my passion for video game development grew, and at the beginning of 2021, I finally decided to treat this hobby as a career. In January of last year, I began development of my first big project, Above Snakes. I made the decision to step back from my full-time software development job and made it a part-time position. With this new schedule, I was able to create a demo for the Steam Summer Festival last June, which was a huge success. Above Snakes was well received and picked up by more players than I ever anticipated. I've had a blast working on Above Snakes so far. 
even if it took all of my free time. For that reason, I have recently quit my job and I'm now working full time on the game you see today. With that said, your That's help exciting. and encouragement is crucial to the success of Above Snakes. I promise that I will do everything in my power to create the best possible experience, listen to the community and keep you all updated and involved with the development. I am very thankful for your support so far and I'm confident that with that continued help in this Kickstarter campaign, we can finish Above Snakes together and make it a truly beautiful game. Okay. Okay. That was, uh, I thought that was a really well done video. Like, the first half made me want to play the game. I thought it looked like a cool game. The second half was the personal touch. Uh, it's a little approaching racist to me. Very European view of the Wild Wild West. I didn't pick that up, but those are one of those things that I don't really notice. I wonder if that's really something that we'll notice in the comments or something like that. Um... But that is something to pay attention to. You know, they, they, they probably need to be like, yeah, we, we studied we studied and did all that. Did he have any First Nation input first? I don't know. Probably not, since he's from Germany. But I don't. I should assume that, I guess. German indie game developer living in the Netherlands, trying to live the indie dream. So I'm going to guess this is just a time period that he really enjoyed learning about or something, maybe? Cryptivo Games, that's the publisher, one backed. Not much going on there. Okay. But once again, I feel like they did a good job of the personal touch. He told me this was his first game. He said, hey, I used to just love doing this, then I went part-time, and now I'm going full-time, and pretty much if this doesn't succeed, then I'm going to go back to work. Please help me make it happen. So, hopefully you can wow me going forward. And honestly, with how much gameplay he showed me, like the can you do it, I felt pretty comfortable with. Above Snakes takes place in a fictional world inspired by the American Wild West, and boasts deep crafting systems, base games, and strategic gameplay of the ability to craft the world tile. Yeah, I know this. Uh, play the pre-alpha in March. That's exciting. By backing now, you can access the pre-alpha as early as March 2022. Be sure your reward contains the pre-alpha access. Okay, very clean and clear. They're saying, hey, you want to play in March? Make sure you get that. Oh, that was cool. That was a cool shot. Corpse Creek, 1883. The darkness of the midnight sky was interrupted by a brilliant green light. The anomaly was followed by a flurry of stones of flame that fell upon this otherwise quiet time. Folks stormed from their homes, dazed by the sky, illuminated up above. It didn't take long for the first of the meteors to reach the earth with a massive bang. Wow. Uh, those who survived took their loved ones to the corp graveyard of Corpse Creek the following day. As the bodies laid freshly buried and the local preacher Noah gave his last blessing, the ground rumbled. A hand burst from one of the graves, reaching towards the sky. While folks were uh, quick to pull their firearms free, they were unable to fight the loved So that was not the impression I was getting from this game. And I almost feel like that's a little bit of a misstep. Like, there, uh, here's the dealio. Like... You just kind of sprung zombies on me here. If you just throw anywhere in here the word zombies, I'm like, what? Zombies? Okay, I'm a little bit more interested. I know some people say zombies are so overdone, but I think they still move the needle. Above Snakes differs from other survival games. The world is not pre-generated. You have the power to generate it yourself. Select a tile to place. That's really cool. What do I want? I want rewards at this point. Because do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? I don't know for sure, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith. You mentioned to me who you are and what you're doing and why you're doing it and all this good stuff. Uh, so how much is it? Don't be around the bush. Let's get to the price. <sighs> Seeing a bunch of... Ooh, cooking carrot soup. That looks cool. Crafting. It's remind me a little bit like Ark. Sort of stuff like that. Wow, going up to guns. This looks like a pretty in-depth game. A lot going on in this game. One person designed this. This is pretty impressive. Farm. Stuff. Fight. Good. You already mentioned this. I just kind of... Whoa! 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 What do we got here? This kind of came out of left field. Find special tiles that drive the story forward and unravel the mystery of the land. Your story progress is always being saved even after death. Your survival runs... And so here's one thing that I also... A little bit of a criticism on the video. I, I wasn't getting a story-based type vibe here that there was even going to be any story i thought it was just gonna be i was just wandering around fighting zombies building stuff so i feel like just this little snippet right here this little shot would interest an entire group of people uh like i think this was i think this definitely should be somewhere in the video is it an open-ended world like an rpg i don't know progression of the campaign but that gets me more excited as a gamer meet interesting characters and learn more about the world as you venture forth dialogue between npcs provide opportunities for you to take your story in a different path than your friends 
Uh, more biomes to explore. That's really exciting. You have to keep track of your thirst, your hunger, your sanity, your fatigue. This feels a little bit more like a board game. I like it. So now we got stretch goals. Price me one time. What's the price? I want the game. How much is the game? Uh, stretch goals. Convert the currency. Love that. Find spirit shines on special tiles that provide you with temporary power. So then you'll add these things into the world that... Okay, cool. Mini games. Interesting. Like that. Blackjack or hold them in the corporation. That's actually pretty cool. Animal companion. So that was one you showed me. I kind of wanted that. Now that I find out that I'm not going to get it, I'm a little bit disappointed. Because you did show off the pet. Uh, but whatevs. 51,000. I don't know if that... This is looks like it's trending to that one. Because it's, it's shot, it's, so it's been up, I think, for like a few days now. But still, that really, I guess, all depends on how they do in the back end. You know, they pushed off the ship. I feel like they had a pretty good launch, 23,000. You know, what are you doing? So here we go, social media challenges. Awesome. I would put this up higher. I would put this up higher. Get me more excited to come back. Uh, so Discord members, if I was really interested, I'd join the Discord. Uh, hopefully you're telling everybody in the Discord to make sure they are on the comment section in the update section and not in the Discord. Like, I always recommend that. If you're trying to pump your Discord, totally fine. But you say, it's a blackout. This week, this month, this 27 days, we got a blackout because we need everybody on Kickstarter so we can tickle those algorithms so we can get up higher on the games chart. Because while, yes, you are the second most popular video game, I want to show you when it just comes to games, uh, this will give you a good example of, so, 3, 6, 9, 12... Uh, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. You get what I'm saying here? 36, 39, 40. So this is actually the 42nd most popular games project, but only the second most video game. So I'm just saying, you got to churn that algorithm. You should be happy with second on video games. You got to try and drive that up. Man, many would love that animal companion stretch goal. Very good start to the goals. I do agree. I thought those were really solid stretch goals. Uh, they were like, yeah, we'll give you stickers. Cause it's like, okay. Uh, pin tweet retweets trailer shares these aren't clickable oh they are down here good 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 all right wards back this campaign and choose the reward tier so this can we get this way higher <laughs> like this is the like honestly with your video i feel like you nailed two of the things do i want it and can you do it you'd let me know you can't but I, sh I believe that that's what Kickstarter is about. I'm going to let you do it. So how much is it? Why can't we get to that earlier? So 14 euros, 16 bucks. So once again, I think this is terrible. Uh, oh, if this is gone, get rid of it. Uh, it is gone. So yeah, get rid of that. I can't buy it. Bye-bye. Uh, so, but once again, $19. I don't bad an eye at that. I say, okay, 19 bucks. I get a Discord backer roll, name of the credit, game keys. Plus, am I getting it in March? Am I getting the early March? Oh, you have to get to the $30 to get the early March. I wonder if that's moving the needle. This is going to be really fascinating for me. I am very excited to see this. I can't imagine the soundtrack is going to be good at all. Uh, excuse me. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> not the soundtrack itself is not going to be good. I meant the pledge level. I don't think it's going to be a popular pledge level because I have no idea what kind of music you have here. But it is a record, and I know people like records. Uh, hell, for 19 bucks, I would support this solid concept. Yeah, like that. I feel like that is something that totally could be on the front. 19 bucks zombies you know there's always more stuff to promote on that front but let's check out this so right now 154 people just get in the game which means the 150 uh early birds are already gone 22 dollars. so 39 people want the cd or the, 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 the whatever this thing is uh then we have the beta access did that move the needle 30 that's not really moving the needle that much that's surprising i thought more people would want the beta access people are like no nah, i'm cool to wait uh early bird play first so what is this this is the, but I will say, I'll give them kudos. I actually really like the organization here. It's clean. It's clear. And look at this. They're, they're highlighting in yellow what new is added to the pledge level. And I think that is really well done. Top notch. What's the difference between this and this? Well, it's this. What's the difference between that and that? Well, it's that. Like, I like that. Uh, so this is pre-alpha access after the campaign ends, alpha access. So what is this? This is the play first. Is this earlier than March? Mm. so it is is this the one moving the needle yes 206 so that explains why this one's not so popular is because it's like right now people can get in on playing it even earlier and it's like well is it's what is it four bucks it's, it's oh it's nine extra bucks and you play it a month earlier okay whatever uh it's a cute section i agree play first so this is after the early bird is gone i can't imagine there's many people that because the early bird is still there there's 26th 
people just want to support. Cool. Double tap, two copies of the game. We got 11, gold edition. What's the gold edition? Exclusive in-game furniture set, exclusive in-game weapon skin. That wasn't sold very well. I had no idea that existed, and this doesn't really tell me much. I bet it's not popular. Six backers, yeah. Like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have a pledge like that, you gotta bring it. Like, why am I gonna pay you an extra, uh, what is this, $56 for uh, some furniture and a weapon? Like, and it's just, like, that's $28 for skins. Unless, unless, of course, they give you special abilities. Now, the weapons probably give you special abilities, but the furniture, I can't imagine it's giving you special abilities. Uh, okay. Okay. And then we got, what do we, oh, no, we got over next. We got another one. The Grave Diggers Edition. Your name and message shown when interacting with the gravestone. Now that, now that is a really cool one. That one I think will be more popular than the uh, one above. No, it's not nine. And I think that's, I think that's a dang shame because I think you could easily scrap that one up. Uh, I really, so I honestly feel like the, the pledge level should have been conveyed better. I don't like how they're conveyed. They're buried down at the bottom, near the bottom, and they're, I don't like I like I like this like I actually like this layout a lot it's very clean and clear and obvious what I'm getting but I don't think the marketing of the actual pledges themselves was done particularly well because they just kind of sprung them here and I don't know I don't know do you dig the gravedigger edition I do I think it's really cool it could be interesting but I think I'll pass uh so this one comes with everything and a shirt worldwide shipping included wow cool and then for friends cool founders edition what is this this is if you want the boxed edition with the acrylic a stand there's a lot of stuff here okay we're getting to the point i'm gonna <laughs> we got eight then this is the two by so there's three then we got this is the founders edition you want some acrylic thing eight people said yes i would like this uh and then what do we got this this is the carpenter design a furniture piece together with the dev that's actually really stinking cool yeah, so I honestly, the more, the further I go down these pledges and the cooler they get, the more I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't know about them already. Like, I feel like the last 30 seconds of the video should have been like, you can get it early, and if you really want to carve your name into the game, you can create your own free of furniture, you can have your name on a gravesite, or do this or that. Like, just a quick 15 second little blurb of like all the potential cool things that I could see down here. Because the bottom line is, if you're moving more of these exciting ones, these big ticket ones, you're going to be hitting more stretch goals, and that's just going to make the the project more exciting. And, and I just... <clears throat> so yeah, so the townsfolk designer designed an NPC together. That's awesome! Nobody took it. Uh, the tile creator designed a tile with associated quest line together with the dev. That is an absolutely amazing sounding one. I think if the zombie part was really pushed, then that Grave Digger would see more gameplay in tune. <laughs> Agreed. But yeah, you design your own quest. That's so cool. Nobody took it. Because it's just buried down here. And then the original notebook. The personal meetings with the dev and behind the scenes information. I can't imagine that one. Yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a big ask. <laughs> Alright, platforms. Whoa, no, no, no. This is not... This is not where this information goes. If you are going to dangle a carrot at the end of a stick, it's, it's, it's crucial that you put the stick in the same vicinity of my face. Right now, I feel like mentioning that, oh, this might come to Switch and Xbox and PlayStation if we get enough funding is the kind of thing that should be way earlier because it gets people excited. You know, if, if, this, if there was a Switch stretch goal, People want that stretch goal. That's going to open up a whole different audience to your game, potentially. And I think burying that down here, like, yeah, that's that's rough. Localizations. Uh, translated to different languages. We got the roadmap. We got some stuff. There's the people. Is this another video? Hi, Kickstarter. My name is to Evening and last year. So this is, yeah, that's what I was saying. It felt like two videos slapped together, which I liked in there. Uh, people I work with, people, stuff, why Kickstarter, be part of the community, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So, let's go check out the FAQ, the updates, comments, get this one a grade. FAQ, will above stakes be on Steam? Yeah, of course it will. Yes. Uh, do Kickstarter rewards offer any in-game advantage? Uh, cosmetic, no. So those are, they're essentially asking you for like $90 for two skins. That's a really tall ask. 
Uh, where are the snakes? Above snakes is an old Western saying, meaning above ground or being alive. Since, oh, so my title that I said it's about snakes is not actually correct. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Updates. Oh, ow, it hurts. No one at all. These are terrible updates. I don't have to click on them. I don't have to read them because no one. You have 670 people here, and your update got no one commenting in any way, shape, or form. That is not moving the needle. Kick, like Kickstarter's like, oh, hell no. We don't want that. We're not going to promote that. You're going to go down on the magic and the popularity chart because you're not driving people here. Uh, Kickstarter loves about snakes. I know this is not Valentine's Day, but I received a little love letter from Kickstarter in my mailbox. Uh, this is selected as a project we love, which is appreciation for the yada yada yada. That's good for them, so they're going to be more likely to showcase this game, and hopefully they'll spruce up that main image a little bit. Use that arc, you know, use that opportunity. Uh, and then you got social media challenges and no comments whatsoever. No one cared enough to talk. That's rough. Like, you're the creator. Engage people. Ask them what they're most excited about. Ask them, what biome are you most excited to check out? What play style are you going to go towards first? Questions like that. Like, what about the Old West theme most intrigues you? And would you love to see in the future of Over Snakes or Above Snakes? This is your opportunity to engage, and maybe I'm sure you're loquacious and very, very engaging on Discord, but Kickstarter doesn't give a damn. They want you doing it here. We're well over 40% funded. Thank you all. Here's just a handful of people playing. Cool. Join. Nope. No comments. All right, and then we go to the actual comments themselves. 27. That is abysmal. That That is just no engagement at all, because this launched six days ago. Uh, all right. You need to add control support or I'll never touch this. That's, that's actually, I could, uh, that'd be a good thing. Uh, I have great news for you. Above Stakes is fully controller supported, even the pre-alpha at the beginning. Wow. So this is the kind of thing that you probably need to mention in your Kickstarter story. Cause Kitty Lady apparently was in and then she's like, nah, hell no, I'm not in. And now she's out. Hello, Tobias. It's a German. Hi, great looking project. I love your approach to development. Limit the scope and focus on realistic deliverables. I hope you get funded. I would be allowed to stream the game if I could get the beta or alpha tier, or is it beta? Okay. Okay, but I do see him in here responding to things on a timely manner. That's good. Good customer service. Uh, just not engaging. So, final grade. Do I want it? Yes. I didn't at first glance. The main image didn't wow me at all. I was like, eh, whatevs. Uh, but the video, yeah, I was intrigued in the game. I thought it looked like a cool-looking game. Can you do it? No. But you have a good chunk of it done, and you've done it before, so yeah, I'll take a, I'll take a flyer on this. And especially if it's 19 20 bucks, whatever it was, relatively cheap. You know, I'm not taking the $1,000 flyer, but whatever. So can't you do it? Yes, I feel relatively comfortable. Especially considering I'll be able to play it. People are playing it right now. How much is it? Solid price. I just don't think the marketing of the entire shopping area was well done at all. Like, I think you need to say, starting at $19 or $14 or whatever the hell it was, and mention zombies, and mention this, and mention a lot of other things uh, earlier. I just, I think the overall, the organization, like this, like, this is cool, too. Here's the other thing. Like, I actually really enjoyed going through the story, and so, but it's like, why wasn't that, like, in here? Like, this was just, oh, look, we're exploring and cool, and it's like, oh, no, there's actually a really interesting story about a freaking town with zombies, and you just happen to be, you know, uh, you were essentially coming in after that or something like that. I don't feel like the story maybe it was conveyed well enough or the fact that there is going to be a story. So I wasn't the biggest fan of the marketing on that. So in the end, I think my final grade for this one, especially with those unengaging updates and comments, which are just going to plunk this further down in that popularity chart. I'm going to give this one a C. I, I think this one could definitely use a little bit of a facelift, maybe focus on some more of the really cool aspects that you already got going on here. But it's nearly funded, and if they start hitting some stretch goals, I can see the rock get moving. But I think, you seriously, if you got if you got people active on the Discord, say, hey, no more Discord, come on to the comments section, let's get this bumped up. But let me know, what's the final grade? What is your grade for Above Snakes, the Western-inspired survival base-building freaking zombie game? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button and try to reach 10,000 subscribers, celebrate my 10-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Bye-bye!